Now that you know how to solve a system of equation, we are going to look at solving systems of inequalities. Now, if you will remember back to first semester, we learned how to graph linear inequalities. And we learned that if it was y is less than or y is greater than, we used a dashed line to graph it on a coordinate plane. And if it was y is less than or equal to, or y is greater than or equal to, we used a solid line. And the difference between those two is that a dashed line, any point on a dashed line, is not considered part of the solution region. A point on the solid line is considered part of the solution region. And then if you remember, we also had to shade one side of our line on inequalities, and we determined how to shade by looking at the inequality symbol. If it was y is less than or less than or equal to it, was pointing towards the y, we shaded the side of the line that was below the y-intercept. If it was y is greater than or y is greater than or equal to, it was eating the y, we shaded above the y-intercept. So take a moment, pause, write this in your notes because you're going to need it for this unit. Also, in your notes, write the definition for a system of inequalities. That is two or more inequalities that share the same variables. So very much like a system of equations. But the solution to a system of inequalities is any point that lies in the region where the shaded areas overlap. So looking at our graph here, the point, oops, going back, sorry. The point, 0, 1, is in the dark blue area where the two shaded areas overlap. That is called the solution region. But if I drew a point on this graph, say right here, which is 0, negative 2, it looks like it's in that blue area. However, it's on the dotted line, and therefore it is not a solution to this system of inequalities. So, uh, one of the things I'm going to ask you to do is tell me whether an ordered pair is a solution to the system of inequalities. So we're going to take our x and our y value and we are going to substitute them into our inequalities to see if we get a true statement. So on the first inequality I'm going to replace the y with 1. I'm going to say less than negative 1 and I'm going to replace the x with 0 minus 2 and I'm going to put that in my calculator and I'm going to get 1 is less than negative 2. Is that a true statement? Well, no, it's not. 1 is not less than negative 2. So as soon as I find out that, that something is not a true statement, I can come over and say this is not a solution. I don't have to do any more work to this system of inequalities. So let's look at our next point negative 4 and negative 1. So again, I'm going to come over and I'm going to put these numbers into my inequalities. I'm going to replace y with negative 1 and I'm going to replace x with negative 4 and I'm going to put this into my calculator and I'm going to get negative 1 is less than 2. Well, that is a true statement. So I'm going to try those two x and y, or that x and y value, into my second inequality. I'm going to replace y with one, negative 1, and I'm going to replace x with negative 4. And when I do that, I get negative 1 is greater than or equal to negative 6, which, again, is a true statement, because negative 1 is greater than negative 6. And since it made both of those inequalities true, this point is a solution to this inequality. And in fact, if I graph these two inequalities, that point, negative 4, negative 1, would fall in the area where the two shaded regions overlap. Okay, and I'm going to actually ask you to graph an inequality, or a system of inequalities, so I'm going to go through one of those with you. Remember, we're going to look at this first one, 
y is greater than negative, and I'm going to call that a negative 1x minus 2. The first thing I'm going to say is, is it going to be a dashed or solid line? Well, since it is greater than, it's going to be a dashed line. And <clears throat> then I'm going to say, am I shading above or below? Well, since it's eating the y, I am going to shade above. So I've got those two things written down. And now I'm going to say, well, what is my y-intercept, my starting point? That is this number right here. So it's 0, negative 2. And my slope for this one is negative 1. So I'm going to say negative 1 over 1, which means go down 1 and to the right 1. So on my graph, I'm going to go down and make a nice big fat point at negative 2. And then I'm going to go down 1 to the right 1 for as many as I need to make a line. And I'm going to get my line tool here and draw a really nice line. See if I can do that. Now, we said that we had to make this a dashed line, so I got to go back and erase some things to make this a dashed line. We also said we have to shade above the line, so I'm going to shade above the line. All right. Now, I'm going to do that exact same thing with my second inequality, except this one, I have to solve for y first. I have to put it in slope-intercept form. And I'm going to do that by um, adding 3x to both sides. That's going to give me y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6. Well, am I going to use a dashed or a solid line since it has the underline under it? Since it is less than or equal to, I'm going to use a solid line. And since it is pointing towards the inequality, I am going to shade below the y intercept. And my starting point or my y intercept is 0, 6. My slope. Is 3 over 1, which means go up 3 to the right 1. So I'm going to go over here to 6, make a nice big fat point. And since I can't go up 3 to the right 1, I'm going to go down 3 to the left 1. Down 3 to the left 1. And I am making this a solid line. And I am going to shade below the y-intercept. So I'm going to shade down here. So the area where my two shaded, sorry, where my two shaded regions cross is right in here. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Actually, I'm going to just make it blue. This is the area where my two shaded regions cross. So this is the solution area to my system. So any point within that blue shaded area is a solution to this system. So this point right here to 0 would be a solution. Uh, this point right here, which would be 3, 5, would be a solution. But this point out here, which would be negative 3, 4, would not be a solution to this system. Another thing I'm going to ask you to do is match a system of equations with the graph. So in this particular one, I know that y is greater than or equal to negative 1 is a horizontal line at negative 1. And I look at both of my graphs, and they both have a horizontal line at negative 1. And I know that this would be a solid line. They're both solids. And I know that I would be shading above. And they're both shaded above. Okay, so I'm going to look at my next equation. Now, this particular equation has not been solved for y. So I need to do that. I'm going to add x to both sides. And that's going to give me 2 
negative 2y is greater than or equal to 1x minus 4. And then I've got to divide by negative 2. Now, I am dividing across an inequality by a negative number. And any time I do that, I must flip my inequality sign. So I'm going to do that now. That's going to give me negative 1 half x plus 2. So now I can see that my y-intercept for this is 2, and I have a negative slope of 1 half, and I'm shading below. So let's look at my first one. I start at, neg at, at 2, I go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, and I'm shading below. So this is the graph of this system of inequalities. And the last thing I'm going to ask you to do is write a system of inequated, write a system of inequalities for the shaded region. So I know I'm going to have two inequalities here. So I'm going to write this line first. I know this is a horizontal line, so it's going to be y, um, some inequality, and some number. Well, that number is three and it is a solid line so I know I'm going to have an underline and it's shaded above so I know it's going to eat the y. So my first equation is y is greater than or equal to 3. So now my second equation which would be, and let's do this in a different color, let's do this in purple, let's do this line. Again, I know I'm going to have a y. Um, my y-intercept is 1 so I know I'm going to have a plus 1, and my slope is up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, so 2 is my slope, so it's going to be 2x. And now, it is a dashed line, and it is shaded above, so it is going to be greater than. So there is the system of equation that goes with this graph. Alright, I think you probably have enough to start your homework.